Today, I want to share something important about burnout. And it's not about your burnout. It's about how to help someone you care about avoid burnout. We've all seen someone completely drained, physically, intellectually, and emotionally. Sometimes we just don't know how to help or if we even should. That can be frustrating and cause feelings of guilt when they do crash and burn. Well, stick around because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to do to make a difference in their ability to avoid burnout. Burnout can look different for everyone and understanding and recognizing the signs and symptoms is the first step in offering support. By recognizing the signs of burnout, you can make a huge difference in someone's life. You might even help them avoid serious issues like situational depression, making life-altering decisions, or doing self-harm. And guess what? Helping someone prevent burnout not only feels good, but it can also give you valuable insights in how to take better care of yourself too. You need to remember that you can't take care of others if you don't take care of yourself first. It's just like taking the time to subscribe to the channel and tapping that notification bell to gently be reminded when that next video is posted. Your support keeps me from burning out. Keep in mind, burnout isn't just about being tired. It shows up in many ways. Let's talk about recognizing the signs of physical, intellectual, and emotional burnout. When it comes to physical signs of burnout, you might notice someone is constantly yawning or struggling to stay awake and frequently mentioning how tired they are. They might be catching colds more often or taking sick days. Changes in sleep patterns are another giveaway. They could be complaining about not being able to sleep at night or conversely, oversleeping, which is an entirely different situation. Lastly, you might see them rubbing their temples or neck, trying to relieve tension or headaches. Intellectual burnout can be a bit tougher to spot. You might notice a decrease in their performance and productivity. Their work might be piling up, or they could be missing deadlines more frequently. They might have difficulty concentrating and making decisions too. They might seem distracted in conversations or take longer to make simple decisions. A loss of creativity and innovation is another sign. If they used to come up with great ideas and now seem stuck or uninspired, this could be a sign. Increased forgetfulness is also common. They might forget meetings, deadlines, or even simple things like where they put their keys. Then there are the emotional signs. These can happen suddenly with an increase in their ability. They might snap at others more easily or have noticeable mood swings. They might seem more withdrawn, less engaged in conversations or express feelings of being stuck or overwhelmed. They might talk about feeling unappreciated or that their efforts just don't make a difference. And you might hear them making more negative comments or being generally more pessimistic about their work and life. So now comes the time to decide to help someone overcome burnout. But what can you do? Here are some tips and strategies for dealing with the different types of situations and relationships. If it's your spouse or partner, you could say something like, I've noticed you've been really tired and stressed lately. I'm worried about you and I want to help. Can we talk about what's going on? Offer to take on some of their responsibilities. Plan a relaxing activity together or simply be there to listen without judgment. With a friend, you might say, you don't seem like yourself lately. How are you feeling? What's going on? Suggest meeting up for a casual hangout or a relaxing activity they enjoy. Sometimes just being there and listening can make a huge difference. For a family member, you might say, I've seen you struggling a lot recently. It's okay to take a break and focus on your well-being. Let's find a way to get through this together. Offer to help with chores, run errands, or just spend quality time together to give them a break. For a colleague or a coworker, you might say, I've noticed you're taking on a lot lately and seem really overwhelmed. How can we share the load or find ways to make things more manageable? Suggest collaborating on tasks, prioritizing workloads, or even taking breaks together to reduce stress. For your boss, who you have a good rapport with and you've got to go with the flow on this one. You might say, I've been concerned about your well-being. Your health is important and maybe we can discuss some ways to reduce your stress. Propose flexible working hours. Delegate tasks or encourage the use of vacation days. Just be mindful that they are your boss. When you do reach out to anyone you're trying to help avoid burnout, keep these tips in mind. Be empathetic. Show genuine concern and listen actively. Avoid being judgmental or dismissive. Use I statements. Focus on expressing your observations and feelings rather than making accusations. For example, say, I've noticed you seem really tired instead of, you're always so tired. Offer specific help instead of general offers like, let me know if you need anything. Suggest concrete ways you can help. For example, can I help you with this project to ease your workload? Encourage professional help. If someone you're trying to help is beyond burnout and truly depressed, suggest seeking help from a mental health professional. For example, you might say, talking to a counselor might be helpful. I can help you find someone if you like. In conclusion, recognizing and addressing burnout in those around us is crucial. Be empathetic, use I statements, offer specific help, and encourage professional support if needed. 
By doing so, we help our friends, family, and colleagues navigate tough times and emerge stronger. Remember, helping others with burnout can also teach you how to better care for yourself. If this video was helpful, please share it with someone who might be interested in helping others avoid burnout too. Don't forget to check out this video next for more detailed strategies on recognizing and preventing burnout to achieve higher levels of success. Remember, you can't take care of others if you don't take care of yourself first. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.